who bring you the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus said to repent and believe in the gospel. Good, inf good information for you today. Free school on the public highway today. Bringing school to you. Government school just ended, but the Christian school just began on the public sidewalk. The blood of Jesus Christ can wash away your sins if you repent, if you humble yourself. Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Good information for you. Consider where you stand before God today, young people. Here all day? You have nothing better to do, babe? Nope, nope, I don't. That's funny. I care about your old souls. I want you to join us in heaven. Guys, you come out here because Get information. There's a way to be reconciled to God. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away your sins. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Consider, young people, where you stand before God today. The Lord Jesus Christ asks. <coughs> The Lord Jesus Christ asked, For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Are you going to turn them up or read them? No, and then see that picture. What's that? It's not helping anybody. I mean, if you want to like show that to little children, that's on you. They can have compassion. I already have one. I got something earlier this morning. You should have read it. There's a holocaust happening here in America. Thousands of babies just like this little boy are being mass murdered every day. God bless you though. Right here in America. And most people are doing nothing about it. Living in a holocaust in this country, every single day, <clears throat> thousands of babies are being mass murdered. Thousands of little children in their mother's wombs are being mass murdered every single day. Just like this little boy. We bring this to you because the schools aren't teaching you this. The culture is not teaching you this. Here to bring you the gospel. That the Lord Jesus Christ sacrificed himself on the cross to save people from hell. The Bible says that no one is good. No, not one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Me. The information you have today, living in a holocaust, little children being mass murdered. This is, what we do. this is what we do to children here in Oklahoma, throughout America. They need our help. This is the greatest injustice happening in our culture today, and most people don't care. A lot of people support doing this to children. The Lord Jesus Christ said the two great commandments are to love God and love your neighbor as yourself. This is your neighbor, created in the image of Almighty God. Little children in their mother's wombs are being mass murdered. The Bible says, for there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death.
Find out, find out how to go to heaven, have your sins forgiven. The Bible says that no one is good. No, not one. None of us are good. We, we all deserve hell for our crimes. We all, we're all going to stand before God one day and give an account for our life. How will you do on that day? The Bible says, hear the word of the Lord, folks. The Bible says, for it is appointed once for man to die. And after that, the judgment. The Bible says it is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You hate us, but we love you. We love you not to give you the truth. We care about you. That's why we're here. We're here because we care about you, young people. You're our neighbors, you're our fellow man. We, we care about you, we're praying for you. We want you to join us in heaven. But you cannot go to heaven based on, what, based on your own works, lest any man should boast. It's not what any of us have done, it's what the Lord Jesus Christ already has accomplished on the cross. Where do you stand before God today, young, young people? Innocent or guilty? So many people are trusting in their own works, their own heart. But the Bible says that the heart is deceitful and desperately sick. Who can know it? We're bringing school to you today. Free education. Public sidewalk. Praise God. Do you like one, sir? This is what's happening to children in this in this culture, in this city, in this state. Every day throughout America, little babies are being mass murdered. They need our help. Will anyone have compassion on a little murdered child? Will anyone have compassion? We have a nation of hardened hearts. People who don't love children, they don't love their neighbor as themselves. Nope, they're not. Putting on public display this afternoon the sufferings of our murdered preborn neighbors. This is happening to the image of God and our culture. The image of God is being destroyed, massacred on your watch. You need to know about this. I wish Christians had told me this when I was in high school. This is your neighbor, a little boy who was murdered. Would you want to have compassion? Or will you have the same reaction that those that people had in the days of slavery when they did nothing? This is the greatest injustice happening on our watch, folks. This is the greatest evil happening on our watch. Yeah, come on. That was an injustice. This is an injustice. And most people don't care about this, just like most people didn't care about slavery back then. Just like in the days of slavery, people dehumanized black people outside the womb. So we're dehumanizing these children. Ma'am, so fuck off! Christ died for you on the cross. Man, I liked them better when they were sleeping. Yeah. There is. We're all awake and they can't We get phone calls all day, man. Jeez. Turn to Jesus Christ, ma'am. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Is this conservative pro-life Oklahoma? Wow. We're here because we care about you, young people. We love you. We want you to join us in heaven. We want you to join us in heaven. Like one, sir. That's that's good good information. Isn't it? We're here because we care about you. We don't want you to die and go to hell. And how will they hear? How will people hear the good news? of how to be saved if no Christian comes to them. So we come to you. Come talk to us. Don't just judge and scream at us. Come talk to us. Find out that we're reasonable, sane people who care about you. Y'all like one? 
has a gospel on it. Tells you how to go to heaven. Be free. We're here because we care about you. You're not going to get this on the evening news tonight. You're not going to get this in the culture. The schools aren't going to teach you this, so we have to. Are the schools going to teach you that God exists? No. Are the schools going to teach you that abortion is murder? No. So we do it. We, we come to you, bring free school, school that you don't have to pay for. We bring it to you out of concern for your souls, love and care for your souls.